In this video, I'm going to talk about how to launch a remediation scan in Tenable SC. When you first scan an asset, the results are imported into the cumulative database, which is viewable here in Vulnerability Analysis. Once you have analyzed your vulnerabilities and patched your assets, you can launch a remediation scan to ensure the vulnerability is no longer detectable. Remediation scans can only be launched from a few of the Vulnerability Analysis tools, those that focus on specific vulnerabilities. This includes the Vulnerability Detail List, the Vulnerability List, and the Vulnerability Summary. Any of the other views, such as the CVE Summary, do not offer this option. For example, a single CVE can cover multiple vulnerabilities. That same rule applies to most of the other Summary views. Let's go back to the Vulnerability Summary to look at a remediation scan and its options. A remediation scan automatically creates a scan policy that targets two plugins, the plugin that you are checking to ensure that it's been remediated, and 19506 NESA scan information. This is listed as a support plugin as a troubleshooting tool. It will give you valuable information, such as whether the credentials used in the scan were successful. The scan is automatically named with the main vulnerability that you are launching it for. You can edit this as needed. Most of the other settings are similar to launching any active scan in Tenable SC. What is pre-selected can vary depending upon where you launch a remediation scan from. For instance, since I selected the remediation scan option from the vulnerability summary view, the targets are not predetermined. The system only knows what vulnerability to look for. You will almost always want to add credentials to your scan as well. Most patches that you remediate, such as this Microsoft Bulletin, are local plugins which require credentials to detect. Failure to add credentials can result in false remediation. Submitting it automatically launches the scan, and that will be viewable in your scan results. Once the scan is complete, if the vulnerability is no longer found on the target, that vulnerability will be moved to Tenable SC's mitigated database. You can view those results here. Switch to mitigated. And then you can export reports from this as well.